Hey everyone, welcome to your March monthlies. And each month we've been focusing on a different chakra. January was the root chakra, February was the sacral chakra. This month will be the solar plexus chakra. That's all the yellow that is the color of the yellow chakra, the solar plexus chakra. The root chakra is has to do with how we kind of relate to groups or the world. The sacral chakra was how we related to another individual. And the solar plexus chakra is more how we relate to ourselves. So the theme of this reading for this month, we're gonna look at how can I honor myself more? So we're gonna dive into a reading for each zodiac sign and we're gonna jump into your sign right now. All right, all my Libras, welcome to your monthly for the month of March. And we're going to start off by pulling you a card here from the You Are Awesome deck. And this is just going to be what the creator wants you to know overall for the month of March and how you can honor yourself more. So one more time here. All right, creator, what do you want our Libras to know, please? Okay, they want that one right there. And here you go, your little ship on the sea. And I'll read that. It says, I am a speck within this wonderful, vast universe. And with a bit of luck, the universe will tell me when to drop a lure. <laughs> and there's a giant octopus under there. But yeah, I love this because this is telling you and showing you that even though you might feel so small, that the universe will guide you and that you are seen you know, I like this like you are seen though you don't think you're seen you are being watched over you are having someone that is underneath you watching your every move and guiding you and you know i might even realize that a little tentacle is guiding your ship in a direction that is always happening for you so i like that because in honoring yourself one of the biggest things is your worth and understanding that you are seen that you are not this little just a little speck within the this vast universe and like that you don't uh, that nothing sees you that you're just like this speck that's out there that's forgotten and unseen is what i'm trying to say <laughs> and we're also going to pull a card here from the tarot what I do is I take the deck this month, I'm using the Sun and Moon Tarot, and I split up the Major Arcana from the four suits of the Minor Arcana. And what this is going to represent, the Major Arcana is like this card, and it's like what the Creator wants you to know overall for the month of March. So I'm just going to make, give these a little mix here and shuffle these up, and then we'll see what the Creator wants all you Libras to know. Okay, there we go. So for our Libras, what else for the month of March? Okay, they really want that one right there. And you've got the moon card, yeah. So look at, you are the moon, to the moon and back, right? The This is all about diving deep into your unconscious and your subconscious into the unknown. And it's very intuitive too. It's trusting your gut, trusting your intuition. I mean, literally you're off here sitting on the moon. So yeah, it's, you know, like when someone says, you're just the moon, it's, it's like this in the olden times, <laughs> even before me, really, really old, they were like, it was a very, a saying of adoration right and so definitely this is about diving deep because here's the ocean here this is about going into your unconscious your subconscious diving deep into who you really are into the spiritual world as well in fact i am going to be pulling four cards here from the dark tarot which this is going to represent our messages from our shadow from our subconscious our unconscious and you can kind of think of it as like this guide that we have, a tour guide that's guiding us around in the amusement park of fear that we have on this earth that we wander around in. And it brings us messages to help us understand those 
programs that are minimized, that are running behind the scenes, that are not on the surface, but they're this depth, these things that are underneath it all. So I'm going to pull one for each of the four suits of the minor arcana, and then I'll talk about those as I get in there. So I'm just going to pull these here. Okay, here's the one. And sorry about if you're hearing the dogs in the background there, there's some doggies that have been activated their alarm system. <laughs> All right, so we've got those. And then we're gonna start here in the minor arcana. Each of the suits, there's four of them, and they represent four different sides of our human experience here. And the first one is wands, which is our fire energy. And that represents our drive, our ambition, our aha inspiration, and our passions. And it can also represent our spiritual energy and the energy that we have going in on our life. So this is gonna be what the Creator wants you to know about your spiritual adventure during the month of March in regards to honoring yourself more. So what do you want our Libras to know, please? Okay. All right, you've got the Six of Wands. This is victory. This is about being seen. And I love that because that's exactly what we're talking about here. It's about recognition. It's about not only being seen by the human side, but it's this understanding, this awareness that you are seen from the universe, the creator, all those beings of unconditional love and light on the other side. So there is this beautiful, beautiful <laughs> confirmation of, of what we were talking about earlier here. <laughs> and then we're gonna see what your shadow has to say, what your subconscious has to say. And you've got the five of swords. And the swords, and we'll talk about that here when we get over to the sword suit too, but it's about your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. And the five of swords has this awareness that comes because fives are about transformation and change, about looking at things from this different perspective. And you can look at it, normally they'll have like uh, someone holding like the ace of swords and then four other swords are on the ground and people are walking away because they they got defeated and you had victory victory over them and they but you you won the battle but you lost the war because you were trying to prove that your small t truce were more truer than their small t truce of their ego and of the fear world and like you said you won but they also, you lost the relationship, they walked away. And so there's this transformation that happens in this energy of that you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. You can connect with that Ace of Swords that they hold on to. You connect to these higher truths, these capital T truths of the spiritual world, those that don't need defending. And in that, you have this confidence and this ability to just believe that and you allow everyone else to believe what they want to believe and you don't have to go into battle to prove anything any longer and so there's this victory in that alone that you have this this ability to stand and just be yourself and to feel recognized not from the outside world but from the up above like we talked about before we're also going to pull a card here from the return of spirit deck and just see what else the Creator wants you to know about your spiritual adventure during the month of March. There we go. All right, so for our Libras, what else? Okay, there we go. And you have faith. Yes, I love faith because that is about trust. It's about being able to trust the Creator, trust that everything is unfolding for you and that you are being guided, that this life that we have all these fated events that are happening, one, we chose what experience we wanted to have when we came down here, but that we're in great hands and we're being guided in the path and on the adventure that we want. We won't get lost at sea. We will be guided by the upper realms, by all those hidden, <laughs> all these hidden uh, support group there. And they do want me to read from the book here, so I will. 
And it says, how much faith do you really have? Often we'll say that we have faith until life starts to get out of whack and things fall apart. And it's easy to have faith when everything is running smoothly, but what about when it doesn't go as planned? It's hard to remain strong in faith when nothing seems to be going as you'd hoped. This is exactly what faith is. Faith is about trusting spirit, especially in those times when everything seems as though it's going wrong. Spirit is asking you to have a bit more faith and trust. Being human means our point of view is limited and our understanding is skewed and one-sided, right? Especially when we're that little boat here. That's our little human self. From the viewpoint of the universe, everything is in divine and perfect order. Everything is exactly how it should be and needs to be to help you move to your rightful place on your path. Do not pull back your energy and trust because things are not working out the way you thought they would. It may not feel good, but you have to honor the wisdom of spirit and the outcomes that are arriving. No, it is perfect. It is for your best and highest good. Breathe and trust what is. Allow yourself to let go, if even for a little bit at first, of any expectations that you have. This card is about restoring faith, but not just in spirit. It's about restoring your faith in yourself, in your abilities, in your choices, and in your heart. It's about restoring your faith in your fellow human and mankind as a whole. Some of the human experiences you've had have damaged your trust and faith. And spirit is holding out their hand to you, but it's up to you to find the faith within to take hold of it. Regardless of whether you do or not, spirit is by your side every step of the way, or every little nautical mile that you, you make spirit is following underneath <laughs> and, and help guiding you your path. I love that. And then we're going to move into the pentacle suit which pentacles is the earth energy and that represents the outside world. So where spirit is your inner spirit and your energy, we're going to talk about your mind and your emotions, all that's inside. This is the outside. This is the outside world. All those beings that are on stage with you, all those situations and relationships and circumstances and your body, and your possessions and your bank account, everything on the outside of you. This is what this is, and this will be what message the Creator wants you to know about your outside adventure during the month of March. Okay, what would you like? There we go. Our Libras for your outside adventure. You've got the Nine of Pentacles, and this is great because the Nine of Pentacles represents like wishes fulfilled. And uh, I love, and it even almost looks like a moon here, right? Because <laughs> you got the moon. Nines, when you think about the Major Arcana, is the hermit and the hermit goes inward to find its wisdom, to find itself. And the Nine of this is all about you finding this wholeness and this completeness from within yourself. So you aren't looking to the outside world to fulfill you and make you whole and complete. It's like this inner journey that you're having, this diving into the subconscious and this awareness, this recognition that you are recognized by the creator of all things, that you're not lost among all the trillions and trillions of souls, but that the Creator knows each and every single one of us in, in detail, in inward and outward, and from the moment that our soul was created and through all of eternity, it knows who we are. And so you're finding this wholeness and this completeness from within during this month. Let's see what your shadow has to say too. Yeah, any of the three? Yep, the Three of Spheres, which would be the Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles has this wonderful reflection in about being your authentic self, being the authentic you. Because they'll sometimes they'll show someone working on this wonderful 
creation of something. And one of my favorite cards shows someone behind them while they're working and someone in front of them. Now the one behind them represents like this, the naysayer, the one like dream breakers, the ones that are like, you can never do any of that. Why are you doing that for? Blah, 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 blah. And that's very obvious for us. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush, move along. You're outside my circle. You know, I'm not listening to you. You're just, uh, you know, this negative influence and I don't want it. But it's the person in front, the person that's praising us that can sometimes be even more influential in pulling us off our authentic path. And it's because our little human child of ourselves loves the praise and hates the punishment as a child. And so it follows us that that little praise and punishment fear and desire within our little shadow side. It's with us our entire life, right? But when we become aware of it, we can be like, oh, you know, someone tells us, oh, I love what you're doing and look how beautiful it is and I'm so proud of you for everything you're doing. Have you ever thought of doing it this way? And they may be doing it totally out of love and out, or out of fear, usually. They're like, oh, what about if you do it this way? We, because we don't want them to move from that praise camp into the naysayer and punishment camp, we might alter to go, oh, okay, well, I'll do that because I don't want to lose their support. But what this card is telling us is so important to find our authenticity from within ourselves and that we don't need to please the outside world. It's about finding, again, this from within and just staying with our authentic self, staying with our authentic path and not get taken off course. So I love that. We're also going to pull a card from this spirit junkie deck here and just see what else the creator wants you to know about this physical adventure for March. All about your honoring yourself, honoring your authentic self, you know? Okay. Beautiful card. It reminds me of the Nine of Pentacles. It's like this beautiful garden here. And it says, today I consciously choose to think loving thoughts take compassionate actions and bring forth peaceful energy. And this is great because this is about gratitude. This is about thanks. It's about purposely focusing your energy on what you want to grow in your life, not what you want to fall away, right? Or what you're lacking in your life. Because when you focus on lack and you focus on what's not going right in your life, you're feeding that energy and it's expanding it in your life instead. Think of it as like you have this little helmet on with this fire hose on your head and wherever you're looking, that energy is going out and growing it. So if you're like, why is that happening in my life? Well, it's because you're looking over at it. Look somewhere else, that energy will expand wherever you're looking and that will diminish over time because you're not feeding it anymore. So I love this with this pentacles, especially with this garden, the nine of pentacles, has all these sunflowers and this is about this growing this garden and you're in there with your self focusing on being self-sufficient and self-sustaining instead of looking to the outside world to do all that which brings us into the sword suit which we talked a little bit about the swords before it's your thoughts beliefs mindsets mentalities attitudes expectations and this will be about your mental adventure what the creator wants you to know around your mental adventure so what else would you like our Libras to know? And this, of course, is your energy. I didn't mention that. This is air energy and you're an air sign. So this is the realm in which you fly. So nothing to be scared of here. And you've got the seven of swords. And the seven of swords, you can see how they're like sitting there like, ugh. And the seven of swords sometimes can be thievery and deception. For your reading, this is like, you becoming aware and this knowledge that your your own thoughts and your own beliefs are what have been making you feel restricted and blinded and you know these things about yourself these limiting beliefs about yourself are what have been making you feel small and so this is this awareness that is coming and you it's it's not a it's, it keeps on pointing you back 
to looking at your own thoughts and your own beliefs about yourself instead of looking outside going, well, they made me feel small. And it's like, well, people can tell us all sorts of stuff all the time, right? But if we don't believe it, then it doesn't impact us. Only the thoughts we believe about ourselves create that explosion within us that trigger us, right? Someone can come up to us and say, I think you're an alien from another planet. And if you don't believe that, you're just like, oh, okay, you're very interesting. Anything else? <laughs> you know, because <laughs> if you don't believe it, you think it's silly. But if someone comes up to you and says, I think you're worthless, <gasps> if you believe that in any way, you are going to be filling your heart just drop, right? And that's what it's telling you here is that only your thoughts and beliefs about yourself are what are impacting you. And if anyone says anything to you or you are getting any of this from the outside world, it's just being a mirror for you, continually showing what you want to see about yourself until you see it, okay? And then let's look at your shadow here, what it has to say. Yeah, the lovers. And the lover's card is a number six, like the six of wands here. But this is about emotional choices. And you are able to see that in any moment, you have a choice between unconditional love of your higher self and the fear of losing conditional love. And it's simple, it's always that. There's always just two choices in an emotion. And if it's not of unconditional love, then it's of fear, and it's sparked by the triggers of these beliefs, these deceiving beliefs that we have that are really not true. And as we dig into and really dive into understanding that, that's where a lot of freedom comes from. That's where diving into this unconscious realm, it's showing you and having you go into this, you know, this depth here. Even the lovers, you have the, the white wolf and the dark wolf. And, and I love that kind of with this gratitude and these two choices. It's like whatever you focus on is what grows. I'm sure you've had, heard the Native American you know, story about the two wolves that live within us, the dark and the black wolf, and the, the um, I'm sorry, not the dark and the black wolf, the white wolf and the dark wolf. And you have this little child asking their grandfather, well, you know, well, if they're always battling inside me, which one wins? And it's like, well, whichever one you feed. And so it is this whatever we focus on is what grows type of message too. We're also gonna pull a card here from this high vibe deck to see what other additional message the creator has here for your mental adventure. So what else? Okay, there we go. And you've got No News is the name of this one. And it says, stop listening to the news. The news tends to focus on fearful stories and fear is a low vibration emotion. Turn off the news for the day or a week and see how it changes your energy. Exactly what you're talking about, right? You will hear all the important issues just from talking to other people. So this is this message about whatever you focus on grows. And when you focus on all the bad news and all that stuff out there, that's what expands, right? We talked about wherever your eyes are is what's expanding in your life. So <laughs> this is that affirmation of that. And then we move into the cup suit, which is the water energy, which represents our emotions. So this will be whatever the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of March. So for our Libras, what else would you like them to know about their emotional adventure? Okay, they want this one right here. And you have the nine of cups. So again, the Nine of Pentacles is like this wish fulfillment card. And the Nine of <laughs> Cups is all about emotional fulfillment card. So you definitely have this Nine with this internal search going on within you. 
and you know we talked about the nines being like the hermit card this is this internal search where you find your wholeness and completeness and your worth and this is like you find your emotional it's happiness you feel this emotional abundance like all of your cups are full and overflowing which makes total sense as you get into this awareness that you are recognized by the creator of all things how can you not feel just like wow right like feel special we'll see what the your shadow has to say about this too yeah you have the four of cups cup fours um, are a very solid foundation think of like a table with four huge legs on it it's a very solid it's emotional stability here and the three there's like three cups of out of the four represent because like the three of cups can be looking to the outside world for your happiness and your wholeness and your completeness it, you know we talk about you know looking in relationships to define our emotional satisfaction or a job or education of some kind some sort of situation that you get in is makes me feel whole and complete or you know your body or possessions or your bank account it's all those things we look in the outside world they leave us feeling empty whereas the one of the cups on here is the ace of cups which is the holy grail it is the chalice full of the unconditional love of the creator and it pours out and it makes us feel this wholeness and this completeness and that's where you find all that beautiful water that overflows and fills up all your cups is it overflows out of that ace of cups connecting to that from up above and then lastly we're going to pull a card here from this affirmation stack and this can represent what else the creator wants you to know about your emotional adventure but because it is also the final card in this reading be a wild card and it can be whatever else the creator wants you to know about your month of march so for our libras what else would you like them to know what's your final message all right so here it is right here and you've got wonder and i'll read that to you it says it's a wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder and when i'm a good audience to my life my life becomes better and better theater. When something delightful happens, I can shout encore and be tickled when it happens again. When something maddening happens, I can laugh it off. Either way, I'm glad I got a ticket to the show. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely our life. Become your on purpose for a purpose. But this really reiterates whatever we focus on is what grows. You know, I can be gra grateful have this gratitude for when those wonderful things happen and when other things don't instead of focusing energy on it laugh it off and move on and then because wherever you're focusing your energy is what's growing for you so i really love th just that be reiterated here because it's such a big piece of this uh, reading for you for the month of march we're only leave the reading there. In addition to these monthly readings, I also do weekly energy updates for each of the elements like fire signs, water signs, etc. Do new moon, full moon readings, and a variety of others. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and get notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click that like button, and then also click the subscribe button, that makes this little notification bell available to you. And when you click on that, you can set your setting to be notified when all videos come out. And that way you don't miss out on any of the messages that come out during the month also doing all of that helps share the love because when you like a video or share a video or subscribe to someone's channel it makes the youtube algorithm giddy and it wants to help share those videos with other people as well so if you feel so inclined of course i greatly appreciate that also, these are general readings. If you wanted a reading that is more specific to you, I do offer private readings and all that information is in the description box below if you have that need. All of you Libras, just know as you're going throughout each and every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing March. I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. And until then, you take care.